Hello everybody, <clears throat> this is Dean from Motion Media and today we're going to look at um, setting up a, an easy rig to simulate uh, a fly, or in this case a firefly, or some kind of flying insect <clears throat> and this will give you a really realistic looking motion. So, uh, first thing we have is just, uh, this is actually a fly model I had for a different project and I um, modified it into uh, something like a firefly. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up a little bit of a, <coughs> a looping animation on his wings. Um, so I'm gonna move out here. Just do something kind of cool. Okay, do it for the other side. And I'm doing it uh, roughly the same amount on both sides, but not exactly the same. Okay, then I'm going to go on here. <coughs> I'm going to select these. See if I can do it in here, be lazy. Selecting these keys so that I have a little loop. Okay. <coughs> really simple. And uh, then I'm going to go to track view. And uh, with these, uh, the rotations selected already, I just go to controller and out of type ranges and choose relative repeat. And you see when I do, it basically loops that animation for me. So I only had to make three keyframes and you see they'll go all the way. That's a nice little easy thing to, to do. I'm going to just put a little bit of animation on these. They're not wings. Uh, they're just little shields. So I was going to make them uh, just barely move throughout. Looks like uh, something's weird there. Oops. <coughs> Make sure they're lined up there. And for some reason, it's not copying that keyframe for me. So do it manually. Okay, same thing, select them both, go to track view, um, both the rotations are already selected, controller, out of range types, relative repeat, and so it'll just repeat all the way through. And I might even just make that a little bit longer. <coughs> Good enough. Okay, now we will, uh, as you know, uh, bugs kind of fly in this weird pattern. It looks like they're all over the place. So we can easily recreate that with a noise. So let's make a dummy. And as you may or may not know, when you add a noise controller, we um, <coughs> go to the motion panel and select position. When you, when you choose a noise uh, on a position controller, it's going to automatically move it to the origin, so always be prepared for that. I don't do any rigging until I place the noise onto things, so I'm going to say OK. You notice our, our dummy snapped into the origin there. For the moment, I'm going to leave that alone, but I am going to rename this uh, dummy fly noise. And uh, I'm going to make, uh, well, for the moment, we'll just leave it like that. So I'm going to take, uh, and you can see that dummy's all over the place. So I'm going to take and just get that noise uh, a little less crazy. So first of all, I know it doesn't need to be fractal. And uh, likely it's going to be a much lighter frequency and then perhaps a little bit tighter of a pattern there. 
helps me sometimes to see the trajectory. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now what we'll do is um, I'm going to create another dummy because when you add noise to something you can see I can't move it. It won't move. It's locked into place. So we have to create one more dummy that we can use to move this noise dummy. Uh, I'm going to link it up here. I get a little video problem. All right, I just moved it to the origin. Okay, so we're going to select all the components of the Firefly and link him to the noise. And then we're going to select the noise and link it to this move dummy. And I'm going to rename that just so I know. Fly move. Okay. Alright, so if we turn the trajectory on here, it's a little easier to see. Alright, so now I'm going to just let's re. Um, let's just make this 100 frames. Turn on auto key. I'm in linear mode. Um, and then you can see what happens. You can see as we drag this main dummy out the what happens to the trajectory you know now we get this really cool squirrely little flight path and so you can see here that's pretty cool now that probably is uh, that probably is too slow so I think we're gonna turn up the frequency here there we go. And uh, that's looking pretty cool. So the last little thing we're going to put on here is we're going to add a little soft body dynamics to the body of the fly using flex. And we're going to apply that at the sub-object mode. So I'm in the sub-object of the fly, the vertex. I'm going to select the end of the tail and then the tips of the feet and uh, it doesn't have to be anything precise in this case and then adjust the fall up just a little bit I don't want his head to be affected or the main body so well that was actually pretty good and uh, yeah. And then uh, with the vertices selected in sub-object, we will just add the flex. So it's only going to affect uh, that selection. And then let's do a quick preview. be easier to see it. that looks pretty good. You can see the effect of the flex there. And uh, we could probably add some to the wings. However, it should be very, very slight. But uh, there you have it. Very realistic, quick and easy way to uh, simulate an insect in flight. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon.